What's up guys, Mark Burr Center here with Android Police and I wanted to take a quick second just to show you this really cool thing in Android N. So, there's this little under the hood change that's been made as of Android N, as of Lollipop, ART, which was introduced in KitKat 4.4, became standard and ART also enables something else really cool. We're switching from, as of N, from AOT, ahead of time compiling, to JIT, just in time compiling. And what that's gonna mean to you, the end user, is faster installs, basically no optimization step, and much, much faster restoring of apps from the Play Store when you set up a new device. Here, let me show you what we did. We, we took two devices. We have the Galaxy S7 here running Marshmallow and the Nexus 6P running Android N. And we took four APKs, well, two APKs, both from apkmirror.com, and we sideloaded them each onto both devices and then we ran the install process. We did not time the very first install because that one's just getting it ready for the install. We just timed from when I hit the install button. And you can see on screen how much faster the 6P running Android N installs big apps like Facebook and Facebook Messenger. Those are like over 60 megabytes to install. Facebook actually took so long to install on the S7 that my arm got tired of holding the device up. It's unbelievable how much faster things install on N, and it's not just installations that are affected, like I said at the top of the video. The optimization step that you would normally see on something like an OTA security update that we're getting once a month now, that's basically gone. So waiting about half an hour for all of your apps to optimize is no longer an issue thanks to just-in-time compiling. Not to mention, if you're setting up a new device that's gonna be running Android and restoring all of your apps in the Play Store, obviously those are all installations as well. So that's gonna go super, super fast on this Nexus 6. It took about an hour and a half to install over 160 applications and it did it all without fail, where in the past, I've had restores get stuck before. Switching to a just-in-time compiler is one of those little under the hood changes that Android releases make that make it feel a lot faster. It's not something that we're necessarily gonna notice from day to day, but this is just a really good example of, of one of the changes under the hood that's gonna impact the overall speediness of the devices in our hands. Let me know what you guys think. Is this a video that you enjoyed? Is this something that you like? I can definitely do a lot more quick hits like this on little bits and bobs that are different in Android N or maybe even diving a little bit deeper into some other devices. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you did enjoy it, you can hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos, then you can of course hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And most importantly, be kind to one another and I'll catch you in the next video.